Hi right, friends, what's on my mind today? If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that my daughter's been in town visiting. So some of it's about that. We've gone out to eat more than we usually do. And uh, I've got some pictures of restaurants and menus and uh, meals for you. We took a walk on the Malacone in Chapala uh, on uh, Saturday and uh, you'll find that interesting. Also, I wanted to tell you about a video I'm working on, and I should have it up soon, maybe by, what's today? Oh, well, today is going to be Tuesday when you're looking at this. By Friday, I should have this ready, and it's a comprehensive look at the differences in the cost of living between the United States and three cities in Mexico, Ajijic, uh, Chapala, and Guadalajara. I've done um, videos about the cost of living before, and uh, <laughs> I, sh I mean, I had one video where I was showing you the prices of meat at Walmart, and then everybody was giving me hell about shopping at Walmart. Uh, like I should be having a Mexican experience instead of shopping at Walmart. Uh, apparently, um, they weren't aware that there are 18 Walmarts <laughs> in Guadalajara. <laughs> I think Mexicans are shopping at Walmart. It's a Mexican experience. You know, it does, it gives me the giggles sometimes about how um, ill-informed people can be about life in Mexico. It reminds me of my brother-in-law a few years ago when we were still coming and going in that uh, older motorhome and I bought a, an inkjet printer for the motorhome. And my brother-in-law was with me when I bought it, and he said, oh, you better get some extra ink cartridges because you'll never find any in Mexico. Well, um, Costco, Sam's, uh, Office Depot, Best Buy, or I could just go three blocks down the street here to a kiosk that refills the ink cartridges. Um, just another example of um, a lot of people still think Mexico is a third world country. <laughs> uh, nope. Anyway, I'm working on this video that I should have up Friday about um, the real costs. And it's not just my opinion, but I've done some uh, research into real numbers by um, think tank groups and government agencies. Uh, the first thing you're going to see today is um, my trip to the Ahihik Clinic. It's a hospital right here in the middle of town in Ahihik. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Once a month I come to the Ahihik Clinic here and it's a hospital. There are two floors of hospital rooms up above me. To get a prescription for Lynn, and uh, I don't always see the doctor. I haven't seen him today. Uh, I'd like you to note a couple of things. I've been here about 15 minutes. I'm the only one here. There was one person ahead of me. The receptionist disappeared with my prescription and came back with the new one and the charge was 300 pesos for an office visit. Uh, as I said, it took me about 15 minutes. 300 pesos is about $15. And I'm a walk-in, I didn't have an appointment. I never have an appointment, I just come here at my convenience. Thought you might be interested in the prices of some other services here. First question is, when's the last time you saw the prices posted on the wall in a U.S. hospital? I'll help you with your Spanish here and convert it to U.S. dollars for you at the exchange rate of 20 to 1 today. Cuarto Chico, 900 pesos, that's $45. A big room, um, $55, and a big room would have room for a family member to stay with them. Um, uh, office visit, $15. A prescription, $15. An EKG, uh, $25. A stress test, $75. A 24-hour observation, $75. Echocardiogramma, 
3,000 pesos, that's $150, and the rest of those are uh, uh, different prices for office visits with a specialist. I don't know what those guys specialize in, but uh, the prices are 30 to 40 U.S. dollars per office visit with a specialist. It's 11 o'clock at night, and we have a visitor. Nope, not her. She's been here for a long time. Hello, a male praying mantis. So we're going to capture it and release it outside so it can go find a girlfriend. Uh, how am I going to catch it? I'll pick it up. You'll pick it up? Of course I'll pick it up. Okay, come pick it up. Oh, he went to the wall. He's got some fuzz on his back leg. I'm going to hold the fuzz while you move. Well, move a little. There he, there he got the fuzz and he flew again. Now he's on the lamp. The chandelier. Okay, I think it's time to get you in a jar so we can take you outside without hurting you. Okay, you dropped in the jar. Now we're going to go outside. Go ahead, grab a hold of the tree. Happy hunting. What are you doing, baby bird? Huh? Look at you. Let's get a really good picture of you before you grow up and get afraid. <laughs> He's not very good at flying yet. No. That's, he was falling out of the tree. Yeah, that's what happened. He fell out of the tree. I wonder, maybe there's a nest up there. This might be his first time out of the nest. Yeah, oh, that would make sense. Yeah. Bienvenidos de Mundo Paloma. Do you want to be on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Calvin has a cheeseburger with fries. And I have a chicken kebab yeah. with Asian sauce, potato salad. And this is 135 pesos. Which I just calculated to be seven dollars and ten cents US dollars. They have great sandwiches here at Panini's in San Antonio Tlacapan and chicken fried chicken on Tuesdays. This is a restaurant called Ari Leo's, and it's two or three miles west of Ahihik, and it's currently my favorite place for a steak. Who's here? Hello, girls. Ari Leo. Um, they have a full menu, as you can see. I'm going to show you the whole menu so you can see just how extensive it is and check out those prices divide by 20 for the US dollar price so 200 pesos ten dollars ten dollars less than ten dollars less than ten dollars uh, I think we're coming to what I'm going to have uh, the girls are having duck I'm having Right there, the basio. It's uh, what are you having, Mom? my favorite steak duck. here. You're having the duck. This is 210 pesos. It's duck confit. That would be somewhere around uh, $11. And what do you have? Oh, the, the duck confit. Oh, you also have the duck confit. <laughs> and I have. 
the Basio. It's a Mexican cut of steak and it's really good. This was also like uh, 210 or 20 pesos, so 11, 12 dollars. And I have been to Ruth's Chris, and this is just as good. Well, it's another night, another restaurant, and this one is called Casa Linda. And this is across the street from that um, independent living place I did last week called The Moon. As a matter of fact, this building used to be part of the Billy Moon Complex. I'm having Thai shrimp. This is chicken cordon bleu. And Lynn is having an oriental platter with shrimp and chicken and vegetables. That's really good. Scorpions? I don't know. I was, I've been out there. I didn't see any scorpions. How did you get out there? On a boat. Who had a boat? Well, over here uh, you can rent a boat. We can rent a ride out there. There's Jerry's car in front of the church in Chipotle. Big horse. A lot of parks have exercise equipment. I'd like you to watch for one particular thing in this walk on the Malacone in Chapala. I get a lot of comments on my channel about, oh, I wouldn't live on the North Shore of Lake Chapala. It's full of expats. It's full of gringos. There's no more room. <laughs> okay, well, count the gringos as I walk the Malacone on a Saturday in Chapala. Oh, Chapala's full of gringos. It's all full of expats. There's no room for Mexicans anymore on the north shore of Lake Chapala. I found one gringo. <laughs> oh, that's where the music's coming from.
That's uh, Casa Brana. Years ago, it used to be a summer home for the people who owned Braniff Airlines. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.